Alright, I I've got initiative. I guess the hit. So we can We've got I'm um, running Millennium Falcon and the U Wing. I've got expertise on both. And a bunch of other stuff. The Millennium Falcon I'm running Ray and Fen, so I get to reroll like crazy. Yeah. All the blanks. Um, and then I've got expertise, and so if I get any focus, those get flipped. <laughs> so if you put if I, upgrade on Ray, are you? That's if brilliant. If I, uh, that's brilliant. if I, I've got engine upgrade the Millennium Falcon that gives me a swerve or a yeah raid. the the boost uh, that's Fen C three PO and uh, with Ray. So if I'm at range one in, and you're inside my firing arc, I get five dice, and because of <laughs> The if I have target lock, I, well no not if I have target lock it's with the re rolls with Ray yep. and expertise I'm I, I frequently get five hits yes as we'll see yes. <laughs> so yeah the C three PO I uh, that's nice for the defense that's, oh the that's defense really since, smart side. since uh, Ray only has Millennium Falcon only has uh, one agility I only get one die so I've got C three PO so I'm guaranteed an evade every time I defend. Because I guess zero. Oh, and if I, if I, brilliant! If I get That's zero, how that gets pumped up. So if Very I get smart. zero, I get one. If I guess zero, and it is zero, I still get an evade. If I roll an evade, I roll an evade. And the great thing is, if I need it. So I noticed Bill likes to use that asteroid setup where he puts the almost like the fence right out in front of you. Yeah. But I've noticed also, sorry, uh, just how often people like to put some form of debris inside <laughs> the, the yes. blaster portion of the Death Star like yep. on, on any of the maps even the, the other map yeah I still try and put one right on top of the the Death Star so and, so one of nice. one of my uh, I, I always run with debris especially because on uh, the u-wing I've got uh, the collision detectors and so I'll ju I just even if I park myself on there I never get any negative effect on top of debris for the u-wing you know the other side of that right if you've got a barrel roll or a boost you can go across debris <laughs> Which I, I, I don't have that. So, no, wait, you don't ignore all damage, though. It's just the crits, right? Well, but on yes. debris, the crits and are debris the only thing that The only debris, thing that counts. Not so that's why I play obstacle. with debris. I gotta remember and that different what, terminology. What I always do, a lot of people, uh, this Bill does this every time when he plays asteroids, he puts them all in front of me. Well, asteroids in front of me are hardly ever a problem because. You know, you do the straight four right out the gate and you're past the asteroids. So I make sure I put all my de debris toward the center and the other side of the board because that's where I'm going to be spending most of my time. And especially, you know, with, it doesn't matter if I'm over debris. That's why I do it. But see, he placed all three of his asteroids near me. Yeah, almost and almost in that fence I, line that he left. I don't even have to worry about him because I'm past him after, almost after the first turn. Mm -hmm. So now... You want to go over Bill's list a little bit? I was bit? going to say, will you go over that, Kevin, and explain so, to me some of those cards? So, Asajj Ventress hat... Bill doesn't run with a whole lot of cards. If you guys watch a lot of our videos, yeah. you'll, you're going to learn this real fast. Um, has push the limit, which is what the PCL yeah. is. So push the limit lets you take another turn, take a stress. Um, the reason it works in Asajj is the Lancer Pursuit Craft. Um, all of its three maneuvers are red, are green. Automatically. They yeah. yeah, they're all green. Oh, that's that's awesome. part of the ship. That's awesome. So it's got a green hard, green bank, green It basically straight. has a built-in unhinged astromech. Yeah. Yes, okay. pretty much. And the other co upgrade card, which I don't remember I'm using in this fight. Okay, so we are going three versus two. Um, was rigged cargo chute, which lets yes. you drop out that big, chunky debris token. Yeah. Oh, that's right. But, okay, so now normally that would be a very effective strategy for helping... Uh, control the maneuverability of your opponent, but in your case, because it of the... It doesn't matter. Oh, he's dropped it right on my face. And yeah. The problem is it gives you a stress. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but The, the person uh, rig cargo yeah. gives you a stress because you used it? Yes. Gotcha. No, okay. no, no. When you... So if he lands that token right on your ship, uh -huh. it gets a stress. Oh, immediately. Yes. Because whenever you pass over, you land on a and, debris, and if you it, get a stress. And if he centered it right... And you ha you have your movement template happens to cross it again, then you get another stress coming off of it. Yes. And if this is before you moved, you now get nothing at the end of your turn nothing. versus yeah. at least you got something done and then he dropped it on you and now exactly. you have a stress. It's just the start. And this is also wow. why they errated the change on um, how red maneuvers dialed in with stress. They errated it to say that you now um, 
do a two straight shifts. whenever you have multiple. You bow on a red maneuver with a stress. He's gotten much better. Yeah. They, he's uh, this is really close to that debris field. And the next move he does is going to be a hard three. It just goes right around it. It was really good. Problem is, it comes right up against me, and I get him at range one. <laughs> um, still, the other thing is, Talonbane Cobra rolls five dice at range one. Jeez. Oh, shit. I don't remember which one. Can you tell which one's which? Uh, the one on the outside is, is the Cobra. Yeah, the one that's on the, the nine, inside. that's the six. Yeah. So I want to... Because he's... It's my six, then his six, and then his other six. So the, the large... The, and, the large ship and he's six. playing Talon being Cobra with no upgrade cards. Yeah. Oh, Crow. I thought I thought that's what those were. No, you're right. Those, those are, are the actions. abilities that it has, yeah. Or the actions that it has, yeah. Now, Grizzle the Hunter, which I've yeah. never seen before. Um, oh, Graz the Hunter for that? Oh, he has Graz you've the got Hunters. to check out Graz. Yeah. Well, um, old, uh, old Turok is a better pilot most of the time. Can you grab my full rifle? Oh, you got Graz handy? I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, and um, so Talonbane's Cobra's interesting ability is he doubles he doubles range bonuses meaning at range 1 you get two red dice and at range 3 he gets two green dice <coughs> so is that Ray firing on? Uh, so yeah, actually, Asajj? with my because because it's big ship versus big ship, you can get a you can get a shot in first round if you both or move at least three forward. Which he moved three and I moved four, but even if he oh. didn't, because Falcon has boost, I've got boost on it. Within the first round, I could have been I, I, no matter what, I was going to get a shot the first round, you, which is important. You got two damage on, didn't you? Yeah. Th well, we haven't shot yet. He, we're still measuring. Oh, we haven't okay. rolled the dice yet. And so, but I, I just moved four forward. He was still he was in range. But if he wasn't, I still could have boosted forward with the Falcon, and been there. That's the great thing with boost on the Falcon is the first move. I mean, you can cover a lot of distance. You can cover a lot yeah, of distance. Man, you can. And since I want people to be in my firing arc, uh, I boost will allow me to pivot the ship without having yep. to take a stress token or trying to fly around all over the place uh, yep. in order to uh, address maneuverability to get you in arc. Yeah, boost is essential on Ray because keeping people in arc is a big deal. Just like I don't, I mean, I, that's what it is. I don't think I actually <laughs> bought that ship. The Millennium Falcon the title thing. card, I really, I don't know how useful it is for me because... Uh, I guess I should start taking it more because with expertise it doesn't matter if I if I have, have target lock. Yeah, or target focus. lock's not a huge deal if because I'm re-rolling unless I have all dice go bad. The only yeah. time that you would worry about target lock because you can't use target lock and rage ability is if you were in a situation where you knew you were going to be outside of arc. Remind me, this is scum versus. Rebel, right? Yes. S Scum okay. versus Rebel. Yeah. So I just rolled. He took off. Now we need probably see if we can get a separate camera to show the dice, have a dice pop up. Yeah. Because I can't tell how many. I can't remember. I think I got yeah, them two. Yeah. It'll start popping on the, on the shields and hole here. Okay. Yeah, will it go red or it just? Nope. It just disappears. No. It blacks out. Okay. Yeah. Each face will just black out. <laughs> yeah. The yellow's the the. Yeah. So if anybody cares, the yellow underneath each ship is hole. And the blue is the shields. Oh, okay. So, so I, I, I hit him for one. You got one through on Asajj right there. Oh, that's why. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought I had grass because I thought that was the Z95 for a second. Oh, yeah. No, it's a Kazani. Okay, so. so on my defense, I guess, uh, he did, even though he got a hit, uh, I guessed zero on my defense dice because C-3PO. <laughs> C-3PO. <laughs> C-3PO. Uh, uh, gave me a swerve. <laughs> Graz the Hunter. This okay. is why Bill likes him. I can tell. When defending, if the attacker is inside your firing arc, roll one additional def defense die, oh. giving it three if they're inside your arc. Now, yeah. that doesn't say if they're within range three, two, or one. Just within yeah. your arc. Yeah. Just within your arc. So, like, yeah, if you have someone who can hit you outside of your range, the challenge, this is perfect. The challenge I've had with the Kazan, with the Kazan, yeah, Karazi fighter or Karazi whatever. Karazi fighters 
which Talon Bay just lost another shield. Good job. <laughs> oh, lost his first. Azaz just lost Bane one. Lose a shield? Oh, I'm a genius. I screwed that up. Talon Bay did not lose a shield. Oh, it was him. You put it too. back. No, yeah, I put, put it, it back. back, and if you'll notice, Ray loses some shields. Oh, oh yeah, it was Ray. Yeah, that that's hit. my screw up. Ray that's lost okay. two shields. It's okay. Now you see how it actually went. So now Asajj is down one. Talon Bane and Graz are both safe. And then Cassian is still doing well. And then Ray has taken two. But I mean, good grief. It's the Millennium Falcon. Until you're through your Where? shields, you don't even need to worry about what's happening. Where the bleep is the other debris? I mean, what? Extra munitions plus a cluster missile. Well, he's got. Would be about the only thing that would make that scary. The debris right there. The debris, oh, it's right up to the to the left. Of, I think. Yep. No. 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 I, that's not it. I don't know. I don't know where the other debris is. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think the other corner six. It's behind the. It's, it's behind. hiding behind the Saj. Yeah. yeah. Freaking big ass. Oh, wait, shit. how that? I think unless so. it's perfectly on the other side it, of a Saj. It, it. Well, no, it's no, not. no, no. Yours so you're was. Right. You're right. I don't know where it's at then. One, two, three, four. Is it on the other side of that? Okay. I yeah, know there's on the one, other two, side three. Of, it's I know it's on the other side right of the there. Millennium Falcon. Then there's one there, four, five. Oh, wait. If you look right underneath Asajj's thing, I think you can see the his oh, third one. Do you see okay, it right so, there? So I did a one forward with this dude because I figured uh, the, the, the big thing with uh, the U-Wing is I need to keep people in arc. And so I want to yep. slowly move once we get into the battlefield. Slowly move forward. Um, is there a Wi-Fi here? Mm-hmm. Um, Mosey Disco and Mosey Disco 19 is the password. Mosey. Mosey Disco 19. M O Z I E D I S C O 19. And that's now recorded. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but they'd have to be near your home. So well, don't say your address. And we'll, we're, we're, I'll change it after this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Mosey, we'll, we'll Dis Mo other. Mosey Disco was a cat. So. All right. So he moved. Now I'm I'm going moving. He moved three. He he flew around that debris You're perfectly. Right. No, perfectly. It's, it's perfectly. Right yeah. There in the corner. yeah. And there's yeah. the other chunk of debris. It was just so you basically almost perfectly spaced your third debris there on Bill's left within yeah. that one frame. So when he was there, so he Bill, had to go through it perfectly, and he did. To, Bill, to be fair, uh, he moved that. And one Bill thing, pushed the limit, so he's got a focus and an evade on and a crust. stress. Then. Oh, was yeah, it? And a stress. And a stress. Oh, okay. Okay, so There's now, now that, his other six is moving. One thing you guys will notice is Bill often will use push the limit to move the f mobile firing arc on Asajj. It's brilliant. It's, it's one of the smartest ways to use push. Like, I use push on uh, uh, my Rebel build with uh, the A-Wing guy. The A-Wing guy? Jake? The, yeah, Jake. The A-Wing guy. The A-Wing guy. You know what yeah. I mean. You say A-Wing guy. I mean, he's about the best A-Wing pilot as far as the stacks that you can put on him Jake's to make so, him uh, sick. I'm just saying. So Bill just, Bill just target locked. I'm sorry. A-Wing uh, pilot my you better instincts on Jake. Boom. He's sick. This is All right. I'm moving the Falcon on. one forward. Oh, no. It was uh, one. Not one forward. Yeah, one forward. Yeah, yeah. this is a one forward. That thing moves a lot. Yeah, when you have those big bases, you definitely got to pay more attention to what happens with the maneuvers because, like, with the small base ships, it's easy. You can kind of hold the maneuver over the top and of it and see where you're going. But with those big bases, if you don't account for the, the width and the depth of the base, I've hit way too many things just because I didn't pay attention to that fact. I paid attention to my distance right, but the size of my base threw me off. All right, so I already, already had a target lock on him, so I, I, uh, I focused. Uh and he was checking for range. The, uh, the the big nasty one's out of range. Oh, he is in range. Yep. range yeah, range. just got yeah. in range for the Yeah, target but lock. two range two on one of them and range three on the other. I believe. He's Talon Bane is, or yeah, Talon Bane Cobra is right. really scary at range one. So now he's rolling for Talon Bane Cobra. Is Next. that a stock card, Talon Bane? Or is yeah. That a, okay. Well, it comes to the Karazi. Yeah, that it is. All right, so it looks like he got a hit. He's taking the target lock off. Oh, he's re-rolling. Wow. The problem is this. The action bar just lets you down. Okay. Now I get I get three because uh, 
because the pivot, the pivot wing on the U wing gives me an extra, uh, an extra agility, and I'm at range three, so I get three defense dice, and I, uh, I've got, I got two swerves, so I didn't do any damage. I don't. I, he didn't do any damage, I believe. So how does the U may portion of the pivot wing work? Um, well, you either the, um, you can either use it in attack mode, which the agility goes up, or after you move it, you can switch it, and I'll do that here coming up, uh, to landing mode. Uh, U-Wing has a stall action, and if I play the stall sure. action, I whip around the 180 degrees because of this card. I think it's so you can choose right? to stay in landing or stay in attack, or after you execute the maneuver, maneuver. on there, then you can flip it, or can you just flip it at will? No, you flip it after you move. So you can move and then flip it. So I have to plan ahead. Yes. Which side you want to uh, be using. Right. On the next turn, yep. and, That's and I have basically right I have to drop my shields to do the 180. Yeah. But having the ability to do the 180 because it does not have a K turn on it. Yeah, it doesn't have at any reverse at all. At all. Oh, so it's, that, the, it's, so it's the it's the what was it? Bill just beat me with. What was his? What was he? The the, the double demolishers. Yeah, du, uh, yeah, double decimators. Decimators, double decimators. So this is basically a rebel decimator in its maneuverability functions. Anyways. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. But definitely not built like this. Does the decimator have a K turn? Nope. Not a single one. It's got a couple of hard rights, but that's it. It also doesn't have any red maneuvers <coughs> on its dial. So. Well, okay. No red, <laughs> but no reverse. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, you're a four turn. Well, you're a four turn ship with the, that. As so far as trying to turn around. So with expertise on both of these, I really don't want a. Uh, oh, see, here we go. I've got. I'm range one. Um, Bam. Uh, Finn. Uh, gives me um, an extra blank die, and then Ray allows me to re-roll two of the blanks, so I'm re-rolling two of the blanks. And just so you know, he is an Arc of Asajj. Yes, we measured it. So, uh, oh, Asajj uh, is... Okay, so now uh, I'm yeah, switching... Back, now, I'm, before, from now, back, I'm, all the way. now I'm switching focus to hit because of expertise, yeah, and I ended up with four hits and a crit. Sage and this was after you had already hit, hit him, Asajj hit him the last turn. The last turn. For some more. For two. Yes. Nice. Asajj Ventress is having a very bad day. So this yeah. is this is my second shot with a Millennium Falcon, and I am taking him out. Well, it's I'm, I'm almost taking him out. My next turn I will, I think, right? No, no. It's gone. Oh, wow. You just eliminated Asajj he, he, in round of seven, three or four. Well, I think he should have took it off right then. Yeah, he should have taken it off right then. He, but I let him have it. He, he, he I, Millennium Falcon with two shots got rid of him. So we after your, after the first and opening, he's he's now he saying he gets shield. simultaneous fire, but it's not simultaneous fire because, because the six the... is not the one that hit him. But I went ahead and let him have it in anyway. Yeah, I was feeling bad. Two rounds killing his largest ship. <laughs> I mean, it was over. The match was over at that point. But that's how beefy he. That's how beefy he is. I got I, I got four dice on the first one and five dice on the second one. Holy crap. With Ray or with with Ray? With yeah. Ray, okay. With with Finn giving me the extra blank. Man. Range. Oh, one. that's how you lost the U. I was wondering when he hit you. I was watching that Asajj out the side of my eye. Asajj is a forty-one point ship. Well, yeah, with ribbed cargo and PTL. Okay. <coughs> Jesus. I mean, ribbed or rigged alone is how much? One. Really? Rigged is only one shit point. With all the crap that it's happens. A one use, it's a one use. Oh, probably because of the stress. It probably well, takes away from its value, I'm saying. Yeah, but, but I'm saying also... The uh, big thing with Ray, it's Ray's, the, my Millennium Falcon, 62 points. But okay, it, now to it clarify, if two ships have the same... Uh, the, if pilot two, skill. Pilot if the skill. ship that destroyed it had the same pilot skill, it would have the opportunity to fire that turn because of simultaneous attack, they yes. being equal in, in pilot skill. Okay, that's okay. what I was wanting to clarify. Perfect. Okay, so now um, I'm really out of position to take on his uh, uh, the, the two other ships. So for my U-Wing, I'm going to move forward. I think I'm going to move forward one uh, and then flip my, my uh, pivot wing card over so then on the next turn, I can do a 180. And I'm, what I was hoping is he was going to fly right along this corridor, and I'd just be sitting there right b beside the debris field. He's firing cluster missiles Yeah, right is now, that what right? he's using right there? Yeah, he's firing cluster missiles right now. Wow. Not too but with my, like. yeah. So he hits me pretty hard. That's the one thing, the, the defense on, the, on that dude. I, do, I guess I do have two green dice, but I was rolling like crap. Um, I've got to remember to take focus to help prevent some of that. 
Well, you no, I'm looking at the wrong ship. Yeah, yeah. C-3PO is, is on the other one, so. Yeah. Oh, luckily you have that crewed out, though, for Cassian. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, Cassian's there as well. That's, yeah. that's pretty neat. Problem is the ship just doesn't. So this basically well. this gen, yeah, well, I mean, this gen, if I hit, so gives, what, gives me a gives me a, a lot of Palpatine basically. But the chances of me hitting with this guy are pretty high, because I've also got expertise. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So okay. expertise. So I can go basically from an eyeball to a crit. Oh with <laughs> with, with with expertise our favorite and, door gunner. This yeah. Gun. yeah. So it hits really hard. I'm liking the setup a lot. This is the first time I've flown it, and I think I'll fly it over the next couple weeks. Just well, the stats are almost the same as a Y wing. As far as I mean, you get one more attack, but you get the same defense. And then as far as total hits, you're looking at the same number as a Y wing as far as eight. But instead of being five hull and three shields, it's four and four, which makes it a little bit better. But yeah, but then again, depends on how many of the proton or is it proton rockets that you come up against. Where after the hit, you take away an additional shield. That yeah. one loses well, does, benefit because a lot of people run ships those, that don't have a lot of shields. But then in those cases where you're up against a ship where they're relying on the bulk of their shields and not their hull, or an mm -hmm. equal balance, if you can wipe out those shields extra fast, those proton rockets become much more scary. Okay. So does the uh, Y-Wing have t two crew slots? Because the U-Wing does. Uh, no, oh. it has it has a, a astromech slot. It has astromech. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so you could then, you could run D two then. And yeah, yeah. You, or you could run D two, or like most people love to do, the unhinged astromech, making all of the Y wings three speed maneuvers into greens suddenly makes you capable of doing those flips and everything that that's, normally would throw you out of position. That's a scum thing. Yeah, um, but but still, I mean, so okay. So here, okay, here so I go. I've got, a, I've got an easy three. I'm coming around the other side. So you if dodge he doesn't, the debris as well. If you dodge the debris, barely. if he, uh, if he, whoops, I knocked it I over. I missed putting <laughs> the damage on. So there's more damage on that Y that Y wing right now. Yeah. So the I, I, if he doesn't come, I catch it up. Like if he, wing, the reason why I did that is if he didn't, wing, if yes. he didn't come far enough, I would get an extra defense dice if he tried to fire on me. If he if he I mean if he does come far enough, I am uh, I'm um, uh, I'll be, they'll be in range next time because I'm just gonna fl I'm gonna flip a B. Gotcha. Now, okay, and again, the U wing is only forward. It doesn't have a 180 or a. It doesn't have a 180. Right? Yeah, it has that funky thing. I have this. a stall, and it, and because stall. I flipped it over, if I stall, you can do the flip. I may. F uh, the whip around. The yeah. whip around. But I mean, it's not like but the, that the fire my, spray that has front and back, or the Millennium Falcon, where it's the 360, or the Decimator is the 360. It's just, or yeah, it's just the forward or the uh, arc. the AR 170 or whatever. Yeah, it is. yeah. Which or I was playing. Yeah, actually, the, the last build I did was with the same Millennium Falcon, but it was the 170, and I was running the card that if I've got target lock, I can add an extra dice. So I actually had six dice. Okay, so this on, is one of the times when you get that benefit of being able to avoid it, or is that? Um, I didn't. Oh, no, that's the U-Wing, not the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, no, I didn't hit it. Oh, you didn't hit no, it? Are I you didn't kidding hit, me? I did not hit it. <laughs> Bill must have been ticked. And, 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 and get this, I'm going to boost, so I'm at range one of this guy. <laughs> oh, oh, you're my God. So <laughs> Too bad it's not... Because I want to be at range one because it's a very good chance, even without taking, even without having a target lock or focus, that I'm going to get five hits. This is why I'm confused about Bill's setup. Uh -huh. I would have put Talon Bane on the inside. He did. He did. He switched them wrong. He he said that to begin with. He put them on the. He mixed them up. Okay. Yeah. And I then he then he mixed the dials up too. I've done, <laughs> I've done that before. We'll, we'll, we'll see that thing. later. Yeah. No, yeah, I want to create he also, ABBA. he also made oh. the mistake, uh, I, I, in my opinion, he made this mistake after con of concentrating the fire on the Millennium Falcon instead of the weaker one and taking, taking, taking my U-Wing out off first. Board, yeah. yeah, because then he would have uh, had only one ship firing he at just, him. As deadly as the Millennium Falcon is, if you could have, yeah, he, if he could have gotten split rid of the, the fire yeah. and things and like he, that. He ends it. up, do, he ends up, he does end up killing me, uh, Killing the U-wing, which is appropriate given given the Rogue One movie, it's <laughs> it's thematic, you know. <laughs> nice, nice. Anyway, so okay, so how much damage here is Cassian I, not registered yet? He's got one hit. I don't remember. He's he's got one hit. But it will catch uh, up. And now he's gonna he's gonna target lock. It's underneath these and undo oh, and do it again. He, nothing, just one hit. But I'm guaranteed with the C-3PO. Oh, there. There's a, there's a defense. So no, nothing on that one. 
And now it's going to be Millennium Falcon. And I'm range one, so I get five freaking dice again. Jeez. Yeah, the next time he attacks the um, and I thought Han was sick the U wing, I get it back up to where it should be. Is new Han uh, still pretty scary? Uh, it, so I mean, everybody loved Han because a he went first, and then uh, his freaking ship ability was. Uh, yeah, Han's not. In the this, new version, this this the Ray new... Ray and C the Ray and um, Finn is just too too devastating to Together, not use yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wish you could do the Chewbacca Chewbacca. I still think that'd be funny. <laughs> Pilot and crew member. Yeah, can you do that? What about no. both pilots? Because well, no, of the title. It, it rule? Not, yeah, it says in there uh, in one or the other that you can't. What do you think both. about the new Chewbacca? Or R- I haven't seen the new R two D two R two D two. <laughs> the new crew and and, ast- and astro. Oh my God! There's an R two D two crew. Yeah. That's right. Yes, that would be sick. But no, the, the, uh, the problem sure with that you, one is if you roll a dice, you take a damage. Yeah, but you know what's nice though is uh, with that Chewbacca pilot card, there is a Wookie crew member. I forget what it's called, ah. but that Wookie crew member actually works really well with Chewbacca. Oh, huh. yeah, it's now, the black Wookie card. You know what I'm talking about? It's a very gunnery looking Wookie. Is yeah, Gunner. There you gunner. go. Put Gunner on Chewbacca's uh, Millennium Falcon. See what happens. But the other side of that is there's a um, just like a brain fart. Uh, brain fart. Remember? All right, so I'm I'm rolling expertise. So I think I've got I've got four hits there. And this is on the nine or the, the six? six? The six. The six. Gotcha. He went for grass. It was up front. Yeah, he should have. He should have. He switched the position accidentally. By the way, just so, setup, so just so it's clear. Um, Graz got into range one, the one in front, and the one in back is Talon Bane Cobra, which just, just barely outside of range one. Oh. By the way, did everybody see the chunk of, that went into Graz right there? Yeah. Yeah. That was the hit from the Millennium? Yes. Yes. He holds the fat. Look at that. And so now, are you explaining to him what's about to happen with your Ewing? Yeah. He, gotcha. Yeah. He so. just knocked four health off the, off Graz. Eventually you catch up on the Ewing, right? Yes. The next time he attacked, I married it up to what was actually on the card. Perfect. I'm a genius. Um, Man, his, his dice weren't too bad today. Usually, Bill rolls like Dookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you can almost like rely on at least Bill's rolls not to kill you. So there's two hits and a crit, and I think that's on the U, U wing, and I didn't roll anything. No. Uh-huh. Oh, or was it on the ball. Falcon? I can't remember. It was probably the Millennium Falcon if he stayed focused fire. Yeah. Like he normally does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would have had to have been then because yeah, even if he wanted to, shoot. only that one yeah. could have shot the U. Didn't he get another shield off you or two? Yeah, yeah there you go. Did. Look he at Ray. Two. Ray just dropped. <laughs> yeah, he took two. Yeah, I was pretty sure. Because I, I got a swerve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I got a hit and a crit, so I took two more shields yeah. off. Man, I didn't realize how long the U wing stayed on there. I must have came in much later than I thought. Yeah, you did. Well, no, the match went pretty quick. I think it was done in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm probably <laughs> I about halfway. Think so. I think so. How long did you record? I don't know. Yeah, it lasted almost to the end. I got several shots. I actually got to use uh, a Blaze Malvis ability to shoot nice. the other guy, <laughs> and Bill got pissed. See, there I go. 180 yeah. flip. He flips it around. Now, that does give me a stress, which means expertise does not um, yeah. work this time. Uh, but the cool thing about the Cassian Andor on the U-Wing oh is gosh. a friendly ship within one range one or two, I, got, I can remove a stress off of. So now you're showing the card and stuff? Yeah. So with... Um, um, oh, my God. Yeah, so with, with uh, Millennium Falcon, uh, since uh, my K-turns are red, as yes. long as I can just go back and forth in front of uh, back and forth in front of the U-Wing, and the U-Wing can pull that stress off. So I can do two K-turns, because he will, he'll be able to pull the stress off. Uh, is the zero maneuver still stressful? Yes. yes. Okay. It's just a red sure. So just both, of my, sure. both of my ships will be under stress. Um, well, I just mean you can't just like camp out in one spot with the U wing no, either. No, no, you, 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 you can't. To, gotcha. You can't. But if you were running two U wings and they stayed within one of each other, you could well, one you could remove different... the stress for the other, and you just stay there. But they would have. Uh, that's a power ability, right? Yeah. And oh, it's unique. Okay. It's unique. Okay. Well, one could help the other, but anyway, yeah. it is unique. Yeah, that'd be cool to do that though. <laughs> well, you can run electronic. What do you mean? Oh, so you mean and... that? I'm sorry, just to clarify oh, it, the unique If you part. could... Yeah, you can't put two Cassian Andors. It's, it's a named... Well, that's his named ability. His named ability. Oh, I couldn't have two I thought you were those. saying the pivot wing had something to do with that. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. I got you now. Totally caught Okay, up. check this out. I'm barely going to miss him with uh, a, a four <gasps> K-turn. 
perfect. Oh my goodness. And I'm, you know, it's there. It's happening. Now I got stressed for that, but still. And again, to clarify, uh, Cassian is actually running with less health than we see on the screen, uh, but it will catch up here in just a sec. All right, and then oh he's going to do another. He's going to do a K turn. So everybody's stressed. All four ships are stressed. Now, see, this is the thing that Bill just needs doing... to recognize with his uh, obstacles: is that that fence line is good if you have slow moving opponents in the beginning, because so, then that early row of stuff matters. But after that, you pretty much ignore it. I ignore it. Yeah. In, in almost every fight, almost every maneuver ends up being almost centered around the middle. And those outliers end up being just kind of right. oh wait I do have to avoid unless it. I unless I chase it that's why I try not to put one in the center so it looks like it's going to be a problem but it's not I have a I have a free tunnel so I'll never stick something in the center I'll make the other person waste one to put one in the center no that's smart that's smart that's why I like especially when they do that and they create those little channels I can just yeah. plug the channel up with a bomb because <laughs> well exactly because exactly. Well. especially with Millennium Falcon with, with Ray I want I want everybody in my arc if I have a center lane this all is, I have to do is run back and forth this and is also where rigged every other shoot, time yeah. cargo shoot can come in handy because you can block that lane yeah oh my god and you can put that on a Falcon now yeah the Falcon and the YT-2400 can both carry rigged cargo shoot because oh, of smugglers' wow. compartments. Yeah. But only with the new version, right? No, no, no. It's an upgrade Card. that came out with the new version. Oh. But it's for the YT twenty four hundred and the Falcon. That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah. See, but yeah, this is where this is where debris field would help because otherwise, all I'm going to do is go back and forth across this lane. Because you're in my, you know, you're in my arc. You're in my arc. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is where you gotta just. If you're smart, you just swing out to the outside and okay, pull Okay, so now off. he just shot. Yeah. Looks like Bill just hit um, your U wing, right? Yep, yeah, he hit my U, U wing, and okay, so uh, I, catch up I had. Yep, yeah, and I think I took I took the hits because I, I didn't roll defense on that one. Okay, so, again, we just gotta get the U wing updated all here right, in a second. So it's oh, bam! There you go. Bam. There's all yeah. the hits that have occurred up until now. That wasn't one turn. <clears throat> yeah, it's now down FYI. to FYI. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Karazi uh, fighters are very nasty, as you've seen, especially with the Talon Bane and Graz out there. Their abilities are pretty sick, but they're not that sick. <laughs> so this this is really the only shot. Well, actually, shot in of... theory, Talon Bane could have hit him for five in one round, yeah, but I kinda, don't think that's what happened. It's kind of sad. This is the only shot I'm really going to get with the U wing, mm. uh, because the Millennium Falcon killed his other ship. At round two, before so, the Ewing got a chance, before the Ewing got a chance, and then <laughs> he spent he the last for? two. He's he's uh, because he's his ability gives him an extra dice. That's right, Graz average yeah. three. Okay, but he rolled all blanks. <laughs> I think I believe. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he rolled. He rolled. He was rolling bad, but still. So now you're still aiming for. I'm still aiming for the the front ship. I think. By the way, there's, a, there's no no. I'm aiming for the back ship. At yeah, this point, yeah, there's a, the still a shield on the table, just so you know. Ray is still somehow has a shield. Okay, so I roll three. I don't know how. Um, oh, because he hasn't been able to hit him with the darn. I roll three. I yeah, don't. I right. roll three. I don't have any. Uh, I, I didn't hit at all. I rolled three. I think I got one hit. Now Bill's going to roll defense and he's going to block it, but I'll uh, I'll be able to use uh, Blaze Malba's ability. And since I didn't get a hit, I'm going to be able to, uh, I'll be able to um, hit his other ship, attack his other ship. Oh, nice! Um, and and <laughs> and since I have collision detector, when I attack his other ship, I'll take a target lock off. <laughs> so next time I don't have. That's the whole idea around this. Is I wanted to. So wait, I'm sorry. Collision detector did what for you here? I'm not collision detector. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, fire control system. So the idea acquire. is... Acquire. I thought you said remove, so that's acquire. where I was getting lost. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, that, I get, no, that I get a... That makes total sense. That's what you use on your defender. That's... Your, your four defender build or whatever, yes. right? Yeah, and as long as it, you know... Not it's, defender. Um, if, Punisher. If I, Punisher. Yeah. If I can keep anybody in, in, my, in my arc... I, I'm going to get a target lock every time, and that means I can take a focus, which will help me on my defense. That's so, a borrowed card, remember? Yeah, it is a borrowed card. <laughs> yeah, remember that card, though, when what, you're using what, a Punisher what, uh, build? What, with, what, uh, uh, what's his nuts? Punisher? No. It's 
It's in the Defenders. What pack does the uh, no, no, no. fire the, control that system? That one uh, Punisher guy that gets locks like he's freaking pooping them. Oh, you're talking about um, Death Ring? Yeah. The one that gets two? Yeah, your Death Ring build is what I'm referring to. Okay. The man pretty much, like... Oh, just the, the the death donut thing? No, death Didn't? rain. It's uh. a punisher gets two target locks. Oh. Yeah. Instead of one. Uh. And on the same you guy. throw that card on there, at the same time, you never not have a target yeah. lock. Ever. You fire a missile, then you have a target lock to reroll fire, your dice. Fire control system. What expansion does that come up with? What ship is it? Uh, one is like Defenders, isn't it? Dun, dun, dun. It's either Punisher or Defender. Okay, so by the way, real quick, so this people got what are the two best apps for looking at this stuff? Just to let them know. Oh, um, in case they don't know, what the? Uh, I use Star Tactics uh, XW. Um, that one allows me to modify all the stuff. You can play around with the settings so that you can see whether or not uh, you know other ships that you might want to buy can go in there, and then you can also assign your specific collection to okay. the to the set. So I. Uh, my six went first, and I misjudged and hit him. Hicks. Oh. <laughs> so I <laughs> Gotta did, remember I, who goes first. I didn't, turn order matters. I didn't get an action, and that way I didn't get an evade, and that's why I died. And we get a parking lot here. If you didn't notice, a lot of bumping happens this turn. I'm wanting to say it's in. Back. So unfortunately, Bill uh, reversed his dials, and he... He for, he thought the six was a nine and the nine was a six and he d almost made it past his own card, but he he didn't so he he hits. Don't you have a tie phantom? It's in the tie. I've phantom. got both. It's in the phantom and the B wing, the fire control system. I yeah. I thought I had. Yeah, I I've got a. Phantom. I thought you had that's a phantom was, too. That's what I. Was I know I've got on. a B wing and a phantom, so that's what I was running for. That was my first build was. Was a decimator and a fan. And a fan, and a fan. yeah. So you should have a fire control system. Somewhere. For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, there we go. You got one. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice, then give me nice. mine back and use yours. There we go. Nice. It was just Do in you my... Need sleeves? It was my build. No, I've got okay, that. Okay, good. I just got lazy. No, Bill's giving me a ton. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, Bill's By the way, to... if you ever play against Bill, expect to get free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, the man gave me my laser pointer. He gave me a set of bombs. He gave me, like, a spare asteroid he found laying around. He's given me, like, almost, like, one set of tokens as far as yeah, he, stress, uh, focus, evade, uh, things like that, just randomly. And then get, he's given me sleeves, both small and large. He donated 80 unique pilot cards to the shop so we can do drafts for X-Wing stuff in the yeah, future. Yeah, so we're going to do a draft, 52-point yeah, so draft. So this is Bill. Come meet him. Chef's games. Yeah, because then you could do. That's what the guy at. Uh, at we were at. Um, we'll still regionals. Okay, here. We'll so I. I come in and I'm every. I'm right up on everybody. Yeah, and so Cassian's taking. So a, I. I hit. No hit since then. Who took the shield off? I. I no hit. One? No, look at Talonbane. Oh, you Bane. hit. The Talonbane. I hit. Gotcha. Yeah. So everybody hit. I hit. I hit him twice. He came forward, but. So I. I I'm not able to fire on the guy in front of me but he can't fire either and at range one he's deadly with the five he gets five or six dice five, five. dice but since I bumped him which oh, I was oh, hoping oh, to do he got no he, action. he got no he got no action well no I bumped him okay. I didn't get any action but he didn't couldn't fire him on me and he, uh, my U-wing was out of range for him so quick update you just killed Graz Graz yep. with an attack from Ray is that with what killed it uh, with yeah, because he or goes was that first. Right up well, okay. yeah, it had to be it had to be Ray because um, I couldn't fire on on his other guy. Oh, I okay. Thought Cassian was gone by this. And point. now because because he's because he's no Cassian was the last to die. I do not have a shot with the U wing now because he's just barely out of arc. Okay, and so that's actually underneath the front end of the Millennium Falcon, yeah, there, you, right? That's yes. where that third ship is. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Talonbane's hiding, <clears throat> essentially. But He's yeah, so now we're doing dial. <laughs> now we're doing dials because the U wing didn't have anything. I'd flipped my card back over so I actually get an extra defense dice. Nice, because I didn't need to. Didn't need to stall. Smart. And I think I'm going to do a, a an easy three. Did you guys forget about the dead man? What dead man? So when Graz dead. dies, everybody at range one should have took a damage. 
Yeah, that's oh, that's really? uh, well. It's not my. I, I did not forget about it. I bet I'm not going to give. Bill's got to remember his cards. He right. only had. Fair he only but, had I mean, four it, cards. The, the opportunity did get missed, right? <clears throat> yeah. So okay. it's tit for tat. I, he, he didn't. The opportunity got missed. He had dead man switch. Um, but he shouldn't have got a fire back anyway. Right, right. So, right. so it's fine. It's this isn't a tournament. It's just a friendly game. So, right. But do pay, pay attention to these rules because if you make it a habit of forgetting them, you will forget them when it matters. Yes. So yes, the I, I was wondering what that dead man switch because he died, and he was right there in the the fray, so it should have it, it does oh, damage to, to everybody. To yeah, it's I did a did a hard three there. Oh, the uh, Ewing. Yeah, and I hit him again. <laughs> thank no God, more for you. Thank God you didn't put Boshek on him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh. that would have been hilarious. But yeah, no, but you wouldn't fine. want to get rid of the other two that you got. Yeah, so right? I did. Well, I did some ba- bad flying with the U wing. So, because um, otherwise I could have. I no, no, no. I keep this only, both of them. This only triggered once. Okay, so here I'm. I'm doing another K turn. Yeah, but normally dice hate people, and so, you don't hit a lot. So once again, I'm I do. just. I'm just going down the lane back and forth, keeping keeping him in a, uh, keeping him keeping in my front and then using the u-wing to keep the stress off or does he keep getting his stress uh, i yeah I'm, I'm doing a, a one maneuver forward to get the stress off but yeah the u-wing could take the swap the u-wing could take the stress off as well gotcha but okay so that's why i was just wondering how you're yeah. doing it. so you're doing one forward and then you do your U, yeah well uh, last U-turn with last the turn there was no there was no Jeez, way for me to freaking maneuver. the with a with the, last turn there was no the way for me Last oh, last turn, there was no way sick. for me to do a do a do a turn a, a, a U turn, um, so I Look only went that. one. Look at those freaking maneuvers. That's a four. And I a mean, five it's game. only a five. That's the only thing he has though at five. But still, getting just to move that far, I don't care if I take a stress at all. That's like instant. You don't hit me. Okay, so this is cases. this is the reason why I'm gonna die right here. <laughs> no you way. yeah yeah the U wing's gonna die. Did he already have? Because I could. Oh, you target locked him. Uh, Those are your acrylic target locks, right? Yes. Okay. I was like, how did it? I don't get to use the target lock, but. Oh, the so that was from because um, he's a six. His nine's going to shoot first, and I think I've only got, I've only got ooh, three. And that he did, was a good roll. He did three hits. I got oh. three defense dice, and I didn't. I did. I re- rolled oh. focus. Oh. It's focus and two, two, uh, two blanks. So I died. Oh. oh, you got to change one of those? No. No. And how'd you get the focus? One of those is focus. I don't think he it's three f- points. He, had a, no, no. he rolled an that, eyeball, that, but that he didn't one. have the focus token. That one's the focus. One of those is a focus. The other two are blank. You're right. We need a dice cam. But that's yeah. Fine. Yeah, because I, I, from here, it looks like all three blanks. E- either that or somebody sitting at the computer, if you had another app to put up the dice. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. At the, that's maybe what you could do is another have just app. a little screen. Each time the dice are rolled, it just pops up real quick so you know what the results were. Maybe. Yeah. We can invest in another camera. Button. That, yeah, and then maybe it's just probably. a little something to add, like when they get hit with the stresses, just just so people can have an idea. Yeah, of what's going. I mean, I know it's a lot of extra little details, but it's me just little and Ben things. might have some coding projects in our future. Mm, gotcha. Lynn's uh, Lynn's taking coding classes right now, and then she's not for C plus built... plus. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Just it's like a combination of a bunch of things to help her with her specific job duties. It's probably like but CSS just... and JavaScript. Yes, I'm sorry, not C++ CSS. I think it's what yeah, you're Yeah, for some working. odd reason, Xhub. Xhub's the um, cool little app okay. that you see all so the information on the sides. He's Because he wants to get me in range one, so he has five <laughs> dice. He thought I was going to come up on him, but I did, don't want to come up on him. I don't have to. He's only got three hits left, and I don't need five dice this time. Nope. So I only, well, needed, I only needed my four, and if... If I can keep him out of range one, it helps me because he shoots first. On the other side of that equation, at range three, at anything but range one, the Falcon will roll four dice. Yeah. The normal three plus the Fen dice. Fin, yeah. And Taliban Cobra will try to sp- will um, roll Just three dice. Right. So if you can stay outside of range one and th- against that matchup. You're in a better situation, right? Well, I don't. Talonbane, Talonbane, 360 as Talonbane well, is the one that wants to be at range one. Ray doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it gives me an extra dice, which is nice. Five hits. But 
Talon Bane. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah you better reroll that one. You're though. at a, you're <laughs> at one dice advantage at range two to three. Even I can yeah. tell that Where that's at my range ball. one, he's even with. He's you. even. Yeah, that's true. He's actually better because Finn's dice. Dang. You Who only get to miss? reroll. You don't get the initial roll on Finn's Ouch. dice. Whiff on that one. Oh no! The Millennium Falcon finally has no shield. Yep. So I got. I got, he did two hits, but I, I, I guessed zero with C-3PO, and I got zero. That's what you did. That's what you yep. did with that other roll. That's why it worked. Gotcha. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm always guaranteed an evade. Yeah. As long as you're guessing zero. And it, Exactly. But i got to remember to start, I mean, I don't need to take a target lock with because of no. because of the re-roll of Ray. I need to be taking an evade every time. That way I'm guaranteed two yep. evades. That's so smart. So... Granted, when you're playing Bill, you don't have to play good. Not always. <laughs> he pulls out those du double so, decimators. You definitely have to work harder. Here it goes. To try and do well. Yeah. So we, this is that's the last one. So that's. I think. I think this was only five moves. So he got an evade and a right, focus. One. Let me think. One. Two, three. No, it was seven or eight. But still, that it was the quickest game I've played. Yeah. Yeah, that might be the other thing, just a little round counter or something in the middle just to let, you, let people know where it's at in the match. We can think about some back. stuff like that. Yeah. But no, that's actually what she's learning is uh, uh, pretty Perfect. much everything she would need for working the website. Yep. Um, and so she's filtering those classes onto me. And so, uh, for right one, on. I need more practice in JavaScript. I barely did any of it when I was doing my stuff in college. So uh, and I learned a lot of HTML game. coding. Yeah. yeah. No, see, my, my programming is it's all back end. I never do any. Uh, Yay, it's over. Bill's well done, cussing well at me, calling me a big pussy for relying <laughs> on cards. And he all got that. all upset, waited one game, and then played me again. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bill for you. He's an all old right, retired okay. Marine. I really like this build. This is the first time I played it, and I will definitely be playing it a lot in the future because it's just. I'm guaranteed hits on both ships each time. And your ability almost. to defend yourself is really high on yeah. both ships. We can put a link to it in the show notes if you want. Okay. All right. 